Alright, what's up guys, Intellitech Studios here. This is the Bissell, uh, what is this called? Powerlifter, Powerlifter, Powerlifter Super Light. Okay, don't you love that plastic creaking sound? Oh, isn't that nice? Manufactured on the 274th day of 2015 for, oh wow, 4.2 amps, attracts dirt like crazy to the front of it, and I serviced this up a little bit ago, and we're going to go ahead and give it a run. So, this uh, thing uh, is, oh my god, Cooper, go lay down. This thing is incredibly stupid and very frustrating. So, first off, you can see that this is a stick vac. So, does not stand up on its own. Second thing you notice, this thing for some reason likes to attract a lot of hair to the white plastic and it looks very gross even though it's probably been maybe like a couple weeks since I've serviced it and I literally only used it for the first time the other day. Third thing, as you can see some debris just fell out of it. Um, these clips are not very graceful. It takes a lot of force to pull off any of these parts. Even when I properly press the latches. Another thing, I've already lost count of what number I was at. This is a square fitting. No attachments will fit this thing. No adapters, to my knowledge, exist to make attachments fit this thing. The 
actual air quality, as far as what runs through it, is deteriorated as a result of the square shape, which is not as good for airflow. One thing that's nice, both of these cord hooks are adjustable. One thing that's not nice, you can't actually store this thing outside of an upright orientation unless you want to wrap, unless you want to store this separately next to the wand and then have it tethered to the cord wrapped around the cord winders. Because there's no cord winders around the actual machine, you can't store this separately and you know so there's no advantage as far as space savings there is not and now this isn't the review this is just me using it but this is just all stuff that I've noticed from the couple times I've used this machine these this hose see another thing this hose is round this hose that goes into this chamber into this fitting is round stuff will get clogged in here all the time and very easily too it does not take a lot to clog this machine there isn't much suction on this machine the brush roll while thankfully easy to access with two screws you can easily pull out the brush roll tangles way too easily and stuff will get stuck in the intake as a result of it getting tangled around this brush roll these bristles are decently stiff but because there's no height adjustment there's not enough pressure to actually push this down on carpet which means even surface debris struggles to get picked up by this machine. And you can just forget about deep cleaning. It's, it's not happening. You actually would get better deep cleaning with some cordless machines. God dang it. With some cordless machines in this form factor, but with no cable. And because there is a cable, this, I don't remember the length of this cable off the top of my head. I'll mention that in the full review, but it's it's not long enough. And it's a lot more noticeable on a machine like this because your muscle memory makes you think you can go wherever you can't, whenever you would normally be able to because you expect this to be cordless. The only attachment you get is this little brush piece that doesn't even actually attach to the intake. It just slides on the top. Now this also does have the option of sliding onto the end of the wand if you want to use it on there. But that's it as far as your tools go. As far as a crevice tool, anything like that, you don't get any of that. Maybe it's, maybe it's entirely possible those attachments are missing, but they certainly don't store on board, like this brush. This brush is actually not a bad brush. It's a nice soft bristle, but it's not actually useful. At least it's very rarely useful. Now, the capacity, very minimal, not much here. You have to empty it every time you use it. Now, one thing, filter is easy to access. Pull this catch up, entire cyclone comes out. Well, except then that happens. But you can see the entire cyclone pulls straight out. You can pull this apart, access the filter, wash it. Very simple, very easy to do and very messy as you can tell. But in its defense, there is some dust, there is some pet hair that it did get. Credit where credit is due. It's not ideal for deep cleaning, but maybe if you have a really low pile carpet, maybe you can get away with it. And just get all that dust off, and that dust didn't even come off. So as you can see, this has a little tab, slides back on there just like that, goes in flush. Got a little filter right here, and that's it. There's no, there's no HEPA filtration on this machine. This is not a sealed system. Filtration is not a selling point of this machine. This is also a bit awkward to get on. There's a hard floor and a main mode. Every time this brush roll is connected, it spins regardless, there is no upright position, but obviously that makes sense for a design like this. The bare, the bare floor mode just spins the brush slower, but this squeegee doesn't do a great job, but it is still a good addition. It does still pick up decently on floors 
It has gates on the front of it. But again, if you're gonna get something for floors in this design point, in this design style, why wouldn't you get something cordless? Because then at least you have the convenience of not having cords. You can even get upright style cordless machines for a very cheap price because the tools on this are obviously not very useful anyways. You literally can't even have this on if you're using just the suction because everything gets caught on the bristles on this brush and it's very awkward to pull the brush off. See, and you can see that just immediately got clogged. Didn't waste any time whatsoever. Just immediately got clogged. Immediately got clogged. Wasted no time whatsoever. Completely clogged. There's not enough airflow in this machine. And you can hear I am choking the fucking thing. There's so little suction. So, yeah, this thing I'm not very happy with. If I had paid more than, if I had paid $20 for this, I would be very upset. And um, if I had paid $100 or however much these actually go for new, especially like you can hear the plastic creaking and all that. Seriously, why would you get this? Just go to Walmart, buy a $50 Power Force, buy some HEPA bags, and call it a damn day. There really is no reason to buy this. I'm pretty sure Bissell does have some solid cordless options that I do need to try. That would be much better options than this machine. The, the, this machine, the, the, this style of machines, this is not me just picking on Bissell. You guys know I'm actually one of the more positive reviewers of Bissell products on uh, among any of the vacuum repair technician channels. You know, I've actually re recommended Bissell. I still daily drive a Bissell. But this machine is not it. I've only used this for a very short period of time, and I can already tell this is not, not something I'm going to keep. I knew that even when I first got it, this wasn't something I was going to keep. But now actually having used it, I'm going to do one more video on this, the full review, where I also answer any questions about the machine. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I can try to answer them if for whatever reason you are interested in this machine. And hopefully, the uh, once the review's done, I can get this thing out of my hair and not have to worry about it. Um, Bissell, I normally like your guys' products and everything, but this this was not this was nowhere near a slam dunk. This was a very very disappointing product, and I don't think any of the issues that I've described would be any different if the machine was new in box. Like I said, I did a full service on this thing, washed the filters, unplugged everything, washed out all the parts. Everything functions as if it was would be brand new, or at least did until I just plugged the thing up. So, my living room vacuuming video of this is not going to be very positive, as you can tell. This is mostly just me ranting, and, you know, overall, I just really am not, I'm not happy with this, and, you know, just overall, I think there's, I don't care how cheap, the, I don't care how cheap this is, I don't care how cheap this is, this is just, um, not something that I can recommend. Even if you have one that's in perfect condition, I just don't see myself recommending this thing um, by any stretch of the imagination. And see, even my cat agrees. Steve, you don't like this, do you? No, you don't. Exactly. He hates it, too. And this thing is just... Yeah. Look at how awkward this is. Yeah, this thing is, this thing's junk, and um, I don't see any scenario where it would be smart to buy one of these. Unless someone literally gave it to you, and you were just using it until you actually bought yourself a proper vacuum, but even then, I still don't think that this would be a sensible choice. So, anyways, uh, full review on this will be coming soon. If you guys want to see videos on how to wash the filters and all that, I can do all that. But um, anyways, this is Intelitech Studios signing out with the living room vacuuming video of the Bissell Powerlifter Super White and this machine.
is, uh, yeah, it's gonna have to get unclogged again. Do one more video on it and get rid of it. So, this is Intelitech Studio signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. If you have any questions about this machine before I do the full review, be sure to drop them in the comments below, and I can hopefully answer those questions in the full review and see if see if that uh, answers your questions. Anyways, Teletech Studio signing out. See you guys in the next video. Peace. And hopefully the uh, next video that I do will be a little bit more positive than this machine, which, based on the machines that I'll be getting, uh, or I should say that at this point in time I've already got, I think that that will more than make up for this machine. So, again, nothing against Bissell itself, but Bissell, if you are watching this, this is not... You need to really do some do some work to this machine. Make it cordless. Improve some stuff on it. Make this a bit lighter. Change the design of the fittings. And, you know, then maybe we can talk. Anyways, this is Intelitech Studio signing out. See you guys in the next video. And I hope you all have a good one. Peace.